Thanks for stopping by. This is Two Minute Classroom, and today we're talking about how epidemiologists classify the spread or prevalence of health issues such as a disease or virus. We'll talk specifically about endemic, epidemic, and pandemic diseases. An endemic health issue is a disease, virus, or other health concern that is constantly prevalent in a given location or population. The number of affected individuals is generally low and does not significantly increase or decrease over time. It's just always there. Examples include chickenpox, which affects children at a regular predictable rate, and malaria, which is constantly present in many parts of Africa. You might think something like the flu is an endemic virus, but it is, uh, in most geographies, it behaves more like our next classification, epidemics. An epidemic health issue is one that has a sudden and rapid rise in a particular region or population. The seasonal flu behaves more like an epidemic because cases spike at certain times of the year. Other epidemics throughout history include yellow fever, which killed 5,000 people in Philadelphia in 1793, and cholera, which hit the U.S. in three waves, killing over 150,000 Americans, and is still very prevalent and fatal in many parts of the world. An epidemic becomes a pandemic when it spreads across the globe. Essentially, an epidemic is not limited to a specific geography or population. It also usually affects a significant number of people. Some of the most prolific pandemics throughout history include the HIV-AIDS pandemic, which has claimed the lives of more than 36 million people since 1981, and with over 30 million cases still prevalent throughout the world. The Spanish flu in 1918, which infected approximately 500 million people and had an estimated mortality rate of 10 to 20 percent. And the bubonic plague, which spread across Europe, Asia, and Africa, killing an estimated 75 to 200 million people. Now for some positivity. Modern medicine and hygiene have come a long way. We have many vaccines that protect us from everything from the flu to polio. We know much more about how to prepare food so that it is safe to eat and free from bacteria, and we have much better understanding of how diseases spread so that we can react quickly to stop the progression of many potential epidemics and pandemics. Now watch these videos that you may find interesting, or check out my sources in the description to learn more about the topics discussed in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.